Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park's Toledo located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this 2016 Ford Explorer Limited. Now the most suitable features on this Limited is its power liftgate. You also have your heated and cooled front seats along with your navigation system. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this 2016 Ford Explorer Limited. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this Limited is its daytime running lights. And then on your front bumper you'll also see your parking sensors along with your front facing camera for your 360 degree backup camera. Over on the side you'll find your 20 inch aluminum alloy wheels. You also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors and taking a look on the inside of the mirror here you'll see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with the blind spot monitoring indicator it'll actually light up just alerting you if there is another vehicle right beside you. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is white. Now to start off with we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver's seat lumbar support over on your left hand side. You have your power tilt telescopic steering wheel along with your power pedal adjustment light controls. On the inside of your driver's side door you'll see your seat memory controls for your driver 1, 2, and 3 along with your power locks, mirror controls, window locks, and window controls. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function as well as your cruise control setting and then you also will find your voice recognition with your uh, mute function Bluetooth volume control and then you'll find the uh, sorry, you have that um, push button start. So with the push button start, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now, taking a look at the displays that you'll see on here, as you can see, you have a couple of different options on here. So if we actually scroll through here, you have your oil life, as well as a couple of other additional features, which include your mirrors, power lift gate, remote start, as well as a couple of other additional features on here as well. Now, over on your right-hand side, you actually use the controls that are located on here as well. So, as you can see, you have your navigation as well as your entertainment on here. And taking a look now at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you'll see a couple of different features on here, which include your touch panel display. And with that, a couple of the features you'll see on there include the navigation system, Bluetooth connectivity, as well as your entertainment climate controls and you'll find you have your temperature controls located down below here with your heated and cooled front seat controls for your driver and passenger and you'll also find your USB and auxiliary input on here as well now it's mounted to an automatic transmission with your terrain select located down below here and if we take a look just at the top here you have your power tilt and uh, uh, sorry, uh, open and close for your power moonroof, and then you have your integrated garage door opener controls. And finally, if we just take a look at your backup camera here, as you can see, you have those nice guiding lines in there, making things much easier for you when you try to back into a stall. Now, when you hit the uh, video button here, or camera button, I should say, it'll actually show you a front view of the vehicle, just to give you a much better idea of what's... Um, uh, actually in front of you if you're uh, parking a parkade or in the parking lot just make things much easier for you and then when you're all finished up just push on that button once more and it will show you the side view on the mirrors as well and then it will go back to the uh, original screen you were on before finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper you're going to see your parking sensors just located right across on the back of the tailgate, underneath your Explorer emblem, you'll find your backup camera and your rear hatch release located just underneath your plate holder. Now, taking a look at the third row here, you have two additional passengers that you can have in the back here. But the other nice thing is you do have the option of actually having them folded down. So, for instance, if you want to just fold the one side, you can actually have it folded down just by pushing on the button and it will fold down automatically for you. Now in your second row you have the captain seats in the back there and you have that center console as well. And then when you're all finished up, you have some storage space still located down below there. 
in case you have two additional passengers in the back. And then all you have to do is just push on the button once on the back of the tailgate and it will close for you automatically making things much easier for you, especially when you have your hands full of grocery bags or the kids sports bags. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions on this 2016 Ford Explorer Limited, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455 or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.